Hi everyone, welcome to my building an EXE.js application using Modern Toolkit series. It's episode 8 where we will add a pivot grid component to our application. Pivot grid is a tool that allows you to aggregate data per several dimensions. When you want to use a pivot grid in your application, first of all you need to decide if you want to aggregate your data locally in a client or remotely on a server. If you will choose a remote option, you would need to provide a backend service that will aggregate your data. Left axis defines what dimension should be used to aggregate data in rows and top axis defines what dimension should be used to aggregate data in columns. Data index config parameter corresponds to field name. And aggregate uh, configuration parameter defines um, what data should be aggregated. Data index corresponds to field name. Aggregator parameter uh, defines aggregator function, sum, uh, mean, max, or average. Left axis, top axis, and aggregate configuration parameters might also include normal grid column uh, configurations like header, width, or styling. So one more time. Left axis corresponds to rows, top axis corresponds to columns, and aggregate defines the content of a pivot grid component. Before adding pivot grid component to our application, let's look at our data. That's an example of um, data that we have uh, for one match. So we have team, uh, home team name Germany and away team name Argentina. And uh, we have one record for every match. Uh, but uh, you could notice that, uh, for example, Germany could be home team for one game and away team to at another game. That's why it's hard to calculate some statistic for a particular country. So let's modify uh, a bit this original data and make it flat. In the flat data, we will have... Um, two records uh, for every match and first record will be about Germany and team name equal to Germany, competitor name is Argentina and win equal to one because Germany uh, won this game and second record will be about Argentina so team name is Argentina and competitor name is Germany and win equal to zero and loss equal to one. In this uh, case it will be easy to calculate uh, sum of all wins, all loss and uh, all goals uh, for a particular country. So let's define a, a model and a store for our flat data. We will do it in a shared folder. First of all, uh, we define a new file flat match jazz and a new store. We will not define any fields in our model, just the name of the class. And uh, for our store, we will just define uh, that flat match model should be used and data should be read from memory. And we will add one method to our um, store load from original. This method will take data from original store, matches store and fill our flat store, flat matches store. So for every record in original store it will clone data, calculate result based on um, home team goals, away team goals and also win condition and add two records to um, its own store. So first record will correspond to home team name and uh, away team name will be added as competitor name and second record will correspond to away team name and uh, home team name will be added as competitor name. Now uh, let's uh, use this uh, flat matches store in a desktop version of our application first. Let's start with the desktop version. So let's go to uh, 
main view model and add our flat store here. But we need to load this store once our match store is loaded. So let's add listener in the same way as we have done for a flag store. And once our match store will be loaded, we will call um, on matches load function. Now let's implement this function. Let's go to main view controller and add a new method on matches load. So once a match store is loaded, we uh, get access to flat matches store and load from original call this method that we have just uh, implemented and uh, send uh, matches store data as a parameter. Now we are ready to add the pivot grid component to our application. But before doing this, we need to add a premium calendar package to our application. First of all, we need to install X pivot package to our application. So we just run npm install command and install X pivot from Sanchez private repo. It has been successfully installed and we also need to install another package exporter. Uh, so pivot package depends on uh, uh, exporter package and we will uh, later use exporter package uh, to export data from our pivot grid into Excel. Now we need to add calendar and uh, exporter package into uh, application uh, config file upper.json into requires array. So pivot and exporter. And the last thing that we need to do is to add um, pass to our packages to workspace JSON config file. So we just tell that uh, where to find uh, pivot package and where to find exporter package. And now we are ready to add a pivot grid component to our application. The definition of pivot grid component for desktop version and for phone version will be the same. That's why we could add this uh, component directly to a shared folder into source folder into view. So we just define a new folder analysis and new file analysis view uh, so we defined a new view based on uh, pivot grid we define x type cls and controller that we implement a bit later and we bind a uh, flat matches store to our uh, analysis uh, view component and we need to add a matrix config to our analysis view First of all, we tell us that we will aggregate data locally in browser. We have around uh, 1000 uh, records, uh, a bit more, uh, like one and a half thousand records. And um, uh, it's an okay to aggregate this amount of data directly in browser. For a left axis, we define that uh, for rows, we would like to aggregate our data per team name, uh, for columns we aggregate data per competitor name and uh, we have two uh, um, columns inside of aggregate uh, configuration parameter. One will be win and second one will be loss. So um, we will uh, calculate a sum uh, how many times uh, uh, particular country win a match and uh, uh, lose in a game. And we also configure some um, normal grid configuration parameters like header, width of columns. And we also tell, uh, for example, that uh, we will show numbers in our um, 
pivot grid without decimal point. We use formatter uh, config parameter for this. And we also specify direction of um, in which uh, data should be aggregated. Now we need to define an analysis view controller. And we do not have any method uh, right now. And the last thing that we need to do for a desktop portion of our app is to use our analysis view into view uh, main view. So let's add analysis view uh, to analysis tab. And now we need to restart our um, application. npm run all. We have uh, changed the um, app.json file and after this we need to restart our server. Now let's look at our app in a browser. Go to analysis tab and we see our pivot grid. Pretty big table. So data aggregated uh, per country, per team name in rows and uh, per competitor name in columns and uh, we see um, sum of all wins and loss uh, for a particular country when it's uh, played against another country. And for example, we could see that Argentina played against Brazil uh, four times and uh, two times won and two times lost. Now let's try something else. And instead of uh, using competitor name for top axis, let's use year. And now we see uh, the same um, grid in our application but data aggregated per year in columns and we could even try to um, sort our data uh, per wins and we could see that countries that had uh, the most count of wins is Brazil then it's Italy, Argentina, Germany, France, England and so on now let's add a pivot grid component to a phone version of our app. First of all, we will start with uh, main view model and add uh, here our uh, flat matches store and uh, listen for on match load event on matches store to load our flat matches store. Now let's implement this function in the same way as we have done uh, for desktop version. Just uh, load from original. And the last thing is to use our analysis view into menu view. So open analysis view when user click on analysis tab. And now let's see how um, mobile version of our app uh, works in browser. Let's go to uh, Analysis tab and we see exactly the same pivot grid but uh, adapted for a mobile device. It was episode 8 where we have added a pivot grid component to our application and in the next episode we will add a chart component.